Yes, lock the treasure hunter, let's see. Well, I'm always up for semantics. Yeah, not so much. By girl, you mean... Ah, yes, of course. The Imperial Witch. Well, good for Narsh for being, uh... Doormats. Pushovers. Oh, see, if there's already a resistance group and Narsh has the power to oppose the Empire, why not... I... Narsh is dumb. That's probably the plan. Figaro. Sounds fun. Enter lock to save the day. As Narsh brings in the entire town guard. Well, that's not good. Kupo. Why, that could only be... Moogles! Oh, yes, they want to help. They're good people. Actually, they're terrible people, but they're good Moogles. Okay. No, because I, I can explain it on the fly. Final Fantasy VI has a bunch of multi-party scenarios. You control um, two or three different parties, and uh, you know you in in some situations you have to position them so uh, NPCs don't reach a certain NPC on the screen, um, and such and so forth. But uh, you know you you switch through through the parties with uh, select in the uh, Game Boy Advance version. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, uh, our Moogles are all equipped with decent weaponry. Um, Locke's just got a dagger, no shield. But um, there, uh, nothing to sneeze at. Um, this party, I believe, has Mog. Awesome. Yes. Um, Let's see, you've got a Chain Flail, and you've got a Moon Ring Blade, so you should be in the back row. But, um, the thing is, you can't actually equip or unequip from the Moogles, except for Mog. And I want Mog's uh, Spear and Shield, personally. They, they're important to me. And then we have this group. Let me try that again without the Select button. This group... Um, yeah, uh, again, nothing, nothing terrible. But, um, what I want to do is first have Mog's team win a battle. Like so. See, the Megalodoths, they're back. With a blizzardy vengeance. Oh, sorry. Snowstorm. It's called Snowstorm. Yeah, it's pretty painful. But, because we did this with Mog's group, Mog can use the dance command. Which is actually fairly powerful. But, I'll get to that later. Because I kind of want Locke to get experience if there's not too much trouble game. I, I would really like Locke to have experience. Apparently Lobos can chomp for some reason. I'm not sure that did anything more than a normal attack, honestly. Yeah, that, that, that blizzard hurts. That's, that's a thing that it does. Honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm not concerned about Locke getting experience anymore, because that hurts. 
I'm going to show off Mog's dances. Because he has eight different terrain-based dances. He's basically a Geomancer. While also being a Moogle. But he's got Cave-In, which... Uh, or Dusk Requiem. I, I, I think it's called in this... I don't know what it's called in this version, actually. I, I didn't pay close enough attention. But, um... That's terrible, and you should feel terrible. But basically, he's got cave-based techniques, um, which includes cave-in, which um, damages an enemy and puts the sap status on him. He's got snare, which is an instant kill move. Um, I think Poison Frog is one of his abilities, which is a frog that does poison damage. Um, oh, Twilight Requiem. Okay. Because that makes such a huge difference. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Sorry. I, I am not pleased with this turn of events. Because Molulu and Mogan are would be nice to have... Maybe I should have had the other two other two teams clear it out for Mog's group. Oh, you're not even going to have the common decency to die? Take that. Oh, boy. Um, well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... hope for the best. Actually, no, I'm going to use a high potion on Mog and hope for the best. For boss time, with the guard leader and a pair of silver lobos. That is beautiful. Thank you so much for that. Mog is now stopped and um, can't take any actions because that's what stop does. Um, guard leader's got a bit of attack power behind him. So, um, I didn't expect, uh, Mogel to last long. Um, this is, this is beautiful. This is, this is glorious, guys. Good to know I wasted my high potion. Awesome. Now, that does not actually give us a game over. It just uh, puts Mog's team back here, all at one health. Um, they can't do anything like that. Come on, just, just, just fight me. Break yourself upon me. I think the worst part is... When you go back into battle with the guard leader, he's going to have his silver lobo or his silver lobo regenerated. So he's gonna have two of them again. It's why it helps to go into that battle with um, more than two characters. But I can't really control Snowstorm. Anyway, I'm going to try and maneuver Locke's team down there. See what I can do. Because, I mean, at least here, at least here, there's no, um, ridiculous snowstorm. But there's still ridiculous, um, attack power. I am going to give Locke that mithril shield. <laughs> and try to steal, because he might have something interesting. <laughs> Alright, enough screwing around, I'm just going to kill this guy. If I can. I hope I can. This is literally the most horrible run at this I have ever had in my history of playing the game. I hope you know that, viewers. It's the Let's Play Curse. Charge. What's charge? Charge is painful as heck. That's what charge is. 
Oh, come on, Locke. Okay, Moggy, it's all up to you. <laughs> Why are you so slow? Okay, yeah, no, you're, you're done. Um, that's beautiful. That's, that's precisely what I wanted. Um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, oh no, this is, this is terrible. I, I, I don't know what to say, viewers. I, I, I don't know what to say. This is like so many bad things at once. I don't understand. I, do, I, I don't want to use that elixir if I don't have to. I just I I I want to win. Do you think you could do that for me, game? Log wins down. And... Yeah, the Lobos are gone. The Lobos are no problem. Of course, you wouldn't attack the second Lobo. I mean... <gasps> hey, you blocked an attack. Good for you. Good for you. If only some other characters could have done that. Oh, oh, net, there it goes. Of course, of course. Thank you so much for that. Oh, charge. There goes Mug Mug. Could I, could I maybe, just maybe have Mercy game? I went through almost all of the first episode talking about how much I love you. And you're going to do this to me? That's how you're going to do me, game? That's how you're going to do me, game. Alright, um... I might have no choice. Um... No, I don't want to use... I don't want to use Locke's team. I want to use Mog's team. Oh boy, this is, this, this is what dreams are made of, folks. Are any of you, oh, I already, I already put your long-range characters in the back, okay. This is what dreams are made of, folks. There are no random battles, just, just, just the guard leader. Just the guard leader. And his Lobos. Hey, here's here's a wicked idea. How about you don't net mog this time? Guard leader, hit the guard leader. Oh, you would, you would. Okay, but at least at least one thing's down, I suppose. I think I might have this one. Oh, oh, I have this one. Ooh, Poison Frog! Awesome! I believe the Guard Leader is weak to poison, so... Yeah! Yeah! That was awesome! That was beautiful! Yeah, we are! Thank you so much, Moogles! That looks like a suspicious switch. One would think they would notice a, a hole in the rock face like that. Oh hey, Terra's conscious again. That's always pleasant. Oh yeah, totally. The Mughals saved you like hell. Yeah, that, that that doesn't sound fun.
Yeah, that old dude back in the house. You don't even know his name. Well, good for you, Locke. Good man. Very nice. Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI, we're, we're, we're leaving Narsh. I'll see you then.